Hey, George Sean and Swedish Joe here with you. Cheers. Friends here, we're tasting a sampling from the Coastal Empire Brewing Company. You may be familiar with them. They've got the Savannah Brown out there. That's pretty popular. Uh, but we're going to go through a series of three that you might not know. Starting with the Tybee Island Blonde, then moving into the Southern Delight Praline Amber, and ending with our Inshore Slam IPA. So let's uh, get it on with some Tybee Island Blonde. Oh, you're nasty, man. Thank you, sir. Hey, welcome. Oh, that's really blonde. True blonde. Look at this. I mean, absolutely, I mean, just light, light, light. Very light. It reminds me of Norland's light. Ah, <laughs> Swedish beer. Yes. Uh, you lots, got lots a big crumb again. Cheers. Cheers, let's see. It's um smells like a light beer. It tastes, <laughs> tastes like a light beer. Definitely like light beer. I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, this is a I mean it's a light beer. It's um, a light beer and it's well carbonated, that's it. Yeah. As we said before, it's beer. It's beer. So I mean being a light beer, I mean, it's exactly what you expect. Cole style, uh, some some hop, some hops. I mean, but again, it's very light. So to be perfectly frank, this does nothing for me. I mean, at best, it's except a if you're very thirsty, yeah. of course. It's a pre-game beer at best. Yeah, you know, right. Um, Tybee Island Blonde. I mean, Coast Empire again. It, you know, really focuses over there on that east coast of Georgia. Uh, I mean, they're doing good work. Uh, this is not the best example. Um, been to Tybee Island, and you probably understand that really the plan there is just drink as much as you can and fall that's asleep that's and wake that's up. That's that's right? yeah. It's a PBR kind of town, and so, I mean, this would be a welcome change from PBR, but uh, here where we get a lot of decent beer, no. Nothing right home about. No. So, well, we'll. Uh, Finish this up. At least we tried it for yeah. you guys. Exactly. And then uh, we'll move on to number two. Yeah. Yes. All right. So moving on, we're going to go ahead and move on to this Southern Delight Praline Amber. <laughs> Let me get now, for you again. Joe, this is a praline is a Southern candy. So our friend here has been brewed with Georgia pecans. Oh yeah. And vanilla. Mm, that sounds more like up my alley. So hopefully we get a nice little delicious beer. It's got a nice kind of amber color. Dark amber, yeah. Ah, and then you've got this fantastic kind of going on beige head. Yeah. Mm, at least this has some aroma. It does. I can get the vanilla. Oh yeah. Malty. And nutty. It's malty. Um, there's no hops at all. No hops, and the vanilla's gone as well. Yeah, the vanilla was 100% the aroma. Yeah. I can get a good of this pecan. I mean, a little. I, I mean, it's a beautiful looking beer. I mean, like everything about it. I love the sight of it. It's, yeah. It's kind of thin, watery in your mouth. Yeah, it is. I mean, there could be more substance, there could be more flavor. Oh, yeah. It's very one dimensional. As I said, you get this malt and pecan, and that's about it. Yep. Uh, there are several other beers that do this kind of, not praline, but this, you know, essentially. 
take on a sweet kind of candied beer. And they do it a lot better. So this is definitely nothing because to Because I don't think this really has any basic sweetness to it. The maltiness is there, but it's not the sweet. No. Thick malt. It's just a... It's a, it's a one-dimensional amber beer. Yep. I'm sorry to say it. Not I really best. want to support a Georgia beer. Uh, but especially a brewery like Coastal Empire, which is smaller and uh, has to really struggle for its fight. Yeah, but I think they need to do better than this, definitely. Yeah. Let's try again, guys. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. All right. So we're moving on to the Inshore Slam IPA. I hope that's a slam dunk. Yep. First two have been... Not so much. Nothing to write home about. Thank you, sir. Yeah. This is a decent beer. It's, you know, six and a half percent, so. Let's Cheers. See. Oh, the, the hop. Yeah, yeah, the hop aroma is coming. Is nice. Yes. Citrusy. Yeah. A little spicy. Yeah. Definitely an IPA. Yeah. Again, I got that citrus. A little bit of the spiciness in the hops. Uh, definitely the best one, but not the best IPA I had. No, it's definitely not. Uh, it's a good IPA. It's a yeah, it, it, it's it's decent. It's got some For bitterness. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got again that spicy hop, that citrus hop. Mm -hmm. um, Funky little IPA. I mean, it is. I mean, according to my taste, compared to that, two, this is pretty decent. Well, this is definitely Coastal Empire's best beer so far that yep. I've had. Oh yeah. Uh, so I've had that's for sure. I've, I've had the you know I've had their Savannah Brown, of course, and then uh, these last three I'm having. Uh, I mean, it's a good IPA. I mean. <laughs> It's a very decent IPA, for sure. Exactly. I mean, I wouldn't return it at a bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are actually so many better ones than this. Yeah. Well, look, Coastal Empire. Out of Savannah, we really are expecting uh, some decent beer. Um, but Savannah's having a tough time proving it to us today. Today, I must say, yeah. But I mean, this is decent. The other one, I don't care for at all. Yeah. But hey, you know, uh, can't have luck any every time we try. Exactly. We had uh, a good run last time. Yeah, the last yep. two last match we had a good run. So Georgia Sean and Swedish Joe here saying drink some more beer and yeah. let us know what you want us to taste. And give us a thumbs up. Yeah, we're, we're putting the effort in guys. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.